Hi, once again, this is Ed from Exotic Blanks. Uh, today we're going to put together a quick uh, video on the cigar pen. We call it cigar pen and improving the fit. Uh, essentially what this is doing is explaining some of the things that I've changed in my use of the cigar pen. So stick with us. I think you'll find some interesting information. First, I'd like to ask you to take a look at these two pens. Uh, there is a subtle difference between the two of them. So I'm going to leave this slide up for a couple of seconds for you to take a look at it and see if you can discern what the difference is. Maybe it will help if we uh, kind of localize what we're looking at. So I've drawn a red circle around the area that is different between the two pens. Uh, perhaps you can see it. There's a difference in diameter of the lower tube or the body tube. Perhaps if we take a very close look at it, you can see here that this one, the, the um, diameter of this junction matches the bottom. On this one, the diameter of the junction matches the outside diameter of that ring. That's the difference between the two. Now we'll get a little bit more, a uh, little better pictures of it, I hope. So hang on for the next slide. So here's the crux of the situation as to why we have uh, looked at these bushings differently. You're matching up to a component that is the coupler for the transmission, but it's a component that has two diameters because it has a rounded edge. With the rounded edge, as you can see on this picture, the outside diameter is 0.53. The inside diameter where you're matching a flat against a flat is 0.49. So what we've done is change those bushings so that the inside diameter here, the 0.49, is the diameter of the bushing. Now if you like the fact that it's a little fatter, you can certainly not turn all the way down to the bushing and then you'll have something between this size and this size. This is the spot right here that I'm not happy about when you use the 5.3 because that creates a shelf, essentially a look from the top where this looks like it's not finished. And so that's the reason that I've changed the bushing size and I hope you'll agree that it's a good change. When we take a look at it in real life, here is the 5.3 and this section right here is what I'm trying to avoid. You have that section that goes all the way around and it looks like it's a shelf. It doesn't look like it's designed to be the finished look of a pen. On this one with a 4.9 diameter, it butts up against the flat, so it looks like it belongs there. So I think that this is a much neater transition to the hardware and it makes everything look more correct. Now, the other thing about this rounded uh, if you've ever done a Gatsby, they have the same si same type of uh, connection here, and that tells you to go to the flat. So that's kind of where I got the idea that this might be redesigned. So thanks for listening to the video. The cigar pen comes in a lot of different plating choices, so it gives you a lot of things that you can change on it, and of course it match pretty much any color of material that you want to. Uh, it'll the, if you follow the link to Exotic Blanks. You'll go to the area that shows the um, cigar pen. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and, and all in all, we appreciate you taking the time to listen to it. This is Ed from Exotic Blanks. Have a good day. Bye now.